Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition with Frixas. We are currently in the Fallow Mire, as you can see. Um, swampy swampiness. No sign of the Aval who want to challenge me. Or the Inquisition soldiers. No, they're further on, baby. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're just following through the main quest line so far. Uh, we've already got two of those, um, Veilfire way stations. If that is of interest to take note of. Um, yeah. And on we go. And we do still need to have... <laughs> pick the diseased tissue off of at least one more corpse. Who is right there. Um, before we can fulfill that... Uh, there we go. Elixir. Requisition. So hopefully we don't get that very unpleasant uh, quest again. <laughs> The Daughters of Song. Wine, music, poetry, and the wanton and frenzied indulgence of carnal fancies. These things characterize the hedonistic cult known as the Daughters of Song. Calling them an order of the faithful lends them a legitimacy they do not deserve. The daughters and sons, though they saw themselves also as daughters, celebrated Andraste's holy union with the maker in almost every way imaginable, and it was only the holy union they venerated. Andraste's life, her war, her teachings, and her sacrifice were blithely ignored. At its height, the Daughters of Song numbered in the thousands. They maintained a stronghold in a village called Vir Virile in the fields of Ghislaine. Virile saw a yearly event during which the Daughters of Song paraded carved images of the Maker's glory through the square. The Daughters of Song were wiped out by the righteous forces of Emperor Drancon during the campaigns to unite all of Orle. When the Emperor's forces slacked, uh, sacked the village, the daughters would not arm themselves and were either killed or captured. The village was destroyed and the cult never returned. From before Andrastianism, the Forgotten Faiths, by Sister Rondwin of Tantervale. It's sad. <laughs> Faith that venerated uh, love, <laughs> it seems. Well, hedonism it doesn't hurt anybody. I don't know. It's a shame. Let's put down the thing. What's up, dude? Well, I'm gonna end up speaking to his stomach, I think. So, you're Herald of Andraste. My kin want you dead, Lowlander, but it's not my job. No fears from me. <laughs> okay. okay. And very well. That guy's gonna take offense at us. Pot shots at the very least. Apparently I'm just crowding him. Alright, let's open this thing up. And close it right down. Come on! Get it! And I get blasted by Yay! Are there any more of those? There must be. <laughs> They're all over there. someone hits me. Yes, we can. Oops, hello. Watch where you're swinging that thing. You fought the Talva Shoth for a long time, Ironbull, did you not? Every day. I'd kill some of them, they'd kill some of my guys, and then I'd kill them some more. 
No man can kill so many people without breaking inside. To survive, those you fight must become monsters. The ones that kill innocent people, yeah. The rest, I don't know. The mind does marvelous things to protect itself. Oh, he's very shiny. Be very shiny, Solus. Mm. Hello. Hello. Hi. I am talking to your back. That's a little strange. Well, stop turning away. Hello. Where the hell are you going? This conversation is very difficult. <laughs> Apparently, to be continued. Look, my hair's white. All right, let's try this again. Hi. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna talk to his back. Apparently. I thought the Avar wanted to fight me. Our chieftain's son wants to fight you. I'm called him when the dead pile up. Rights to the gods, mending for the bleeding, a dagger for the dying. <laughs> That's what I do. I don't pick up a blade for a whelp's trophy hunt. The other of our kidnapped an Inquisition patrol. Are they all right? A few were injured in the skirmish, but they were alive. Last I saw them. Someone's trained them well. They killed more of us than I thought they would. Farewell, then. Watch the water. Mm, let's go pick up my fade trophies. Rift trophies? I guess they're kind of lightning essence. And corpse, corpse crud, basically. <laughs> All right, let's. Oh, I missed a sack. Ooh, Gurgit webbing. That's okay. Alright, we can get that way. Oh, some on the flowers. Oops. <laughs> I tried to avoid it. this thing off before unleashing a terror. Him up. It wasn't me. <laughs> Ooh. So 
Somebody knocked me flat. There are just undead everywhere. Good lordy. Did they die or just fall down? <laughs> it kind of looked like they just fall down. Well, I looked down for a minute, so. A second. Either way, don't care. They're gone. Come on. Tinkle. These particular Veilfire runes are completely imp impenetrable, but staring at them brings about the mental image of some kind of plant, and the impression it is somehow important. Then it fades. What, like Blood Lotus? <laughs> Alright, uh, sorry, I'm kind of going back and forth here. Alright, that's the way we came. Where do we want to go? I guess straight on. Oh, to an actual rift. Save this one too. Oh no, we won't. Ugh. Holy God. I always forget what that is. Despair demon. I always call him a cold demon. Cause you know, he flings cold shit at you. to go around and take down my favorite, but this guy just can't take a hint. I don't want to be his dance partner. Go away. Uh, 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 near. Oh god, a revenant. No! Oh, I got it. Did I get it? Yes, I did. All right, run away. <laughs> mm, sounds like another despair demon, too. I can hear the whistling. Not too bad. <laughs> so let's send his ice armor. You uh got a little something on your shirt. There you go. You got it. <laughs> frosty rags. That's what I'm totally calling him from now on. Not cold demon, but frosty rags. <laughs> Alright. Let's claim the Creepy tree in the name of the Inquisition. Done. The den. The stench of wet fur is so strong it almost masks the pungent odors of the mire. Almost. Uh, 
Yes, it seems like this place would be a little on the right side. Ooh, a revenant heart. And sea silk. <clears throat> Alright, where the heck? Um... Alright. Here we go. What am I looking for here? Fine Widris. Seems like Widris should be right here, but I guess I gotta look in the area in general, so that's okay. I can sense elven magic somewhere nearby. Yeah. No shit, Sherlock. <clears throat> some things. Resistance, but no one should know anything else. So. Dear, do you find your magic affected at all by the fluctuations in the fate? Nothing unexpected, given the energies emanating from the rifts. And you, Enchanter? The same. Now, she was wearing warden armor, but talked about the circle. That should help ward off demons. So, was she a warden, or did she just find armor? Ooh, look what's back here. Dawn Lotus! Pretty, pretty Dawn Lotus. And my favorite! Oh good. That didn't spawn any anything untoward. <laughs> but, not so on the way back. Hot shot at me. Mm, it looks like there's something waiting for me out here. Yes. 
Dead things, Mikey. Dead things. No extra dead things. Diseased tissue. All right. Very good. Let's make our way around. Stop. <laughs> Shiny Solus. He's very yellow. Very shiny yellow. Alright, I think that is all from this little bowl. <laughs> now I gotta find the way out. How did I get in here? Um, no. To come over here. There we go. You know, it all kind of looks the same. <laughs> Although, uh, yeah, okay. That is the butt of a statue. I guess I could have fast traveled out. That would have, that would have done it. Mm, no, no, no. On we go, on we go. Oh, I bet there's stuff here. to go this way, actually. We shall carry on Howiet. And surprise! Slowly picking at me and my health. <laughs> that was not cool, bro. Let's see what this is. The Lost City of Barandor. On the 15th day of my journey across the Tevinter Imperium, our caravan reached a great rolling plain. Swaying grass hid flocks of birds so vast that when they took flight, their numbers blocked the sun. This, our guide informed us, was the great city of Barandor, wonder of the ancient world, famed for its fountains which were said to grant eternal youth. Legend has it that during the celebration of the winter solstice, Caranathus, Caranatus, uh, high King of Barandor turned away an envoy from the High Priest of Dumat. The priest called upon his god to punish Caranatus for the offense, and the dragon god of silence answered him. Months passed. The kingdom of Barandor fell silent. In distant Mernrathus, the priests of Razakale dreamed of dark omens. Their oracles declared that a dire fate had befallen King of uh, King Caranatus. Finally, the fearful High King of Minrathis sent a company of soldiers to Barandor. The men reported that the road which led across the northern plain ended abruptly. They walked for leagues over barren, empty rock where the kingdom of Barandor had once been. All of it swept from the face of the world by the hand of God, the hand of a god. Not a single stone of Barandor remains, and nothing of the once powerful city has ever been found. A secret, now, that can never be told. From In Pursuit of Knowledge, Travels of a Chantry Scholar by Brother Jenna TV. Firm Morning Star. Well, I guess you would want it to be firm since it's a weapon. Turn around.
Ugh, more corpses. <sighs> Good times. Well, I guess we're going to be in the water anyway. I'll go get it. Well, I'm not sure I need it now. Ooh, but seven gold is nice. <laughs> we'll do gross things for gold, apparently. Who's taking pot shots at me? Goodness. We were drawing in all the dead. <laughs> Stuff. Stuff on fire. Oh, yeah. I should know that when I come to these little bonfires, that something. <laughs> something comes out of it. I guess technically they're pyres because there's some corpses in there. Oh yeah, all right, let's go over here. I got some blood lotus. Weeping spires. And some more blood lotus. More dead things? No. Okay. Dude, what the f oh. I need something mad over there. Oh, we didn't. The dead thing did. Okay. Which means I'm getting up on the rock. Yeah, because I know that thing runs into charges. He's got a tough hide. Oh my gosh, there's too many of them. These guys are- oh my god, there's three. No, no, don't come up on my rock. This is my rock. Get off my rock. Sheesh. Totally came up on my rock. Ha ha. That's what you get. You get lit on fire when you get up on my rock. heck are they vulnerable to? Fire. Very well. That is not the button I meant to hit. <laughs> That's the button I meant to hit. Fog Fisher. My god, these things are tough. pick up for that. So I think these guys give up rough skin, roughened skin, roughened hide, yeah. Boy, that sucked. Oh, hi. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. 
diary uh, a diary found in the phylum one water soaked entry dated 10 days ago is still legible the damned roof leaks and i've been eating boiled roots for a week i'm squatting in a bog no one's so much as spit in for 10 years still better than the alienage think andraste that's the last time i visit the city for a while i'm worried about the gardeners they weren't sick when I left, and now they're all down with a fever, and their little boy is at death's door. Nigel Marsh said we should lock them in their home, sour codger. Maybe I can bring something to help. Is it death root that cures a fever, or elf root? It can't be death root, can it? Ask Ira, which is right. Ira, Ira, probably, Ira. I'm just gonna look behind the house. Nothing but rocks behind the house. And of course, <laughs> if you walk in the water, you are going to get dead things. Like that thing. There we go. All right. The next, I guess it's kind of a, they end up being way stations. Fast travel stations. All right, I don't have a lot of um, healing potions, so. Save. Take one of these and light them up. Ooh, you went all the way over there. Of course, he's going to come over here pretty quick. Yep. down. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Good work. We have a path free of corpses back to the shore. I can't wait to use it. Talking dead. <laughs> talking dead. <sighs> yeah. All right. I am in a weird camera angle. There we go. Oh, it's because I'm the wrong person. I was wondering why that wasn't making sense. Tell me, Enchanter, do you even bother to explore the Fade in your dreams? 
I prefer to explore the world I actually live in. A pity. You could be much more powerful if you ventured outside your narrow preconceptions. Oh. Ah, the temptation to leave the path. You sound like a pride demon. <laughs> Enchanter. Any pride demon you met would just walk away, shaking its head and laughing uncontrollably. Oh, darling, more than one already has. <laughs> These unreadable runes evoke for a moment a sudden and overpowering feeling of smug and vengeful triumph, as though a difficult problem has been solved. There is the image of a bottled elixir, then it fades. A cipher written in the last pages of apostate Widris's journal corresponds to the Veilfire writing found in the Fallomire. The deciphered messages are notes that, when taken together, form instructions on how to concoct a particularly dangerous poison. And we have all leveled up. Awesome! Awesome, awesome. Where the heck am I going now? Oh, there's the windmill. Seer. That means we want to go Lost Souls. Yes, there's my peoples. And this, I think, is the way to the windmill. And man, we're beat up. So it is time to actually go back a ways camp but this way we have a way to travel back um, to that way station because we need a refill of every bloody thing <laughs> oops okay yeah I didn't actually mean to do that <laughs> well, I've got plenty of ill fruit to support it at this point um Actually, I think I'm going to change that to can't decide pitch grenade or anti even anti even fire at this point would probably do a little bit more damage until um until the other stuff is upgraded anyway. There we go. That's better. All right, let's fill that requisition. Thank you very much. Let's see what else Harriet's got for us. Dispatch for you. Thank you so much, darling. What have you got? What is it? You may want to look into this. Oh, plague elixirs! Yuck! <sighs> I know I picked up some extra, but yeah, all I need is one more. <laughs> Yuck! I don't like that requisition. It's gross. It's so gross. <sighs> okay, let's fast travel back to our place here where we left off. Oh, we left a fire rune. Lotus. More blood lotus. I don't know that I can go through this way. No. New. No. Apparently new. No. Got to go round. And through, of course, the spirits. Yar. I think. Yeah. Me. Me. You guys suck. Picking my torch back up. Ugh. Look, I found a windmill. This sturdy windmill appears old but well kept. Really? You think so? Hmm. <laughs> Lion corpse is on fire. I don't think 
there's much else here. <clears throat> so we will come out. Yeah, I'm not touching those. <laughs> I got other stuff to do. And fight bog fishers. Like pick blood lotus! And <laughs> more blood lotus. Did I even get that last one? I don't know. I thought I did, but whatever. And Summerstone. Blood Lotus, Blood Lotus. Mm, we don't need that one. Well, truly, we need them all, but we're not gonna go get that. Okay, let's see. We are now at some sort of ruin. Doesn't look good over here. Mm, I can't remember if there's something up here. Seems like they make this climbable, so you can pick something up, but it's just not true. <laughs> it's just not true. So to say, wow, that was not supposed to happen. And we're double backing a little bit so that. Okay. Corpse. Yuck. Gross. Thank you. Okay, I'm not gonna go get that one because we we got the last one. We need it for the the new requisition. Do level up. Those are great big chains. I mean, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> More undead! Too many of them! Let's get to the castle! Alright. So, we have to run the gauntlet into the castle. Um, but I think this is a really good place to stop. So, I and. Uh, and I will stutter until I say Alfita Sane. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. We're wasting and time. Yes, Head toward the castle. I know that, Vivian. I was speaking. <laughs> if you like what you see, please do like and uh, subscribe below. And um, I will see you in the next episode when we run the gauntlet. <laughs> Bye.